In just a few hours' time, Troy Davis will have a lethal injection that will put an end to his life despite serious doubts whether he even committed the crime. His planned executions highlighted the divide over America's policy on the death penalty. Davis was convicted of killing off-duty police officer Mark McPhail 22 years ago, but witnesses who testified against him have since retracted their evidence. We cannot believe that the Board of Pardons and Paroles is allowing a person to go to his death despite the fact that serious doubts about his guilt remain unresolved. Almost a million people have signed a petition seeking clemency, with supporters including former President Jimmy Carter, Pope Benedict XVI and Nobel Peace Prize winner Desmond Tutu. And let this be a case that not only highlights the death penalty, but you know, will hopefully be a big part of bringing the death penalty to an end in Georgia. Right. <laughs> Civil rights activists suggest race played a part in his original conviction and that death by execution is a step back to the old days of the Deep South. Prosecutors have upheld their decision to go ahead with it tonight, meaning the protesters' vigil could come to an end.